Hi guys, welcome back to Technique Matters. So over the past two weeks, we've been talking about bracing for the squats and the deadlift. So what we're going to talk about today is bracing for the bench. So yes, we do need to brace for bench, but it is slightly different from the other two lifts. Hi guys, my name is JJ. So today we're going to talk about bracing for the bench press. So before we begin talking about how to do it, we want to understand sort of some of the theory behind bracing in general, right? So when, you're squat when you are squatting and deadlifting, your brace has to be focused on creating the most pressure in your, in, in your thorax as well as your abs, right? So with the bench press, however, we are just looking to create intrathoracic pressure and try not to create too much intra-abdominal pressure, right? Whereas for squats and deadlift, we want both um, to a very, very sort of high level so that the weight doesn't pull us out of position or crush us, right? So first and foremost, when we talk about getting the most intra-thoracic pressure, what we're looking to do is actually drive our shoulders um, into retraction and depression, right? So what this will do is it will cause us to be really, really tight and pressurize our um, our thorax. So if you don't know how to do this sort of retraction and depression or you're not good at it, um, re please refer to our previous videos and uh, make sure that you get that down first before you can focus on, come back to this video and focus on, you know, doing this part of uh, the bracing right. All right. So without further ado, we're going to, um, we're going to talk about what you need to do on, and we're going to show you with the help of like Clinton and Adam, how to do that on the bench press. What's up everyone, Adam here from Technique Matters and I'm going to go through with you how to brace in the bench press. So we have went through the squat and the deadlift, how to brace for those. This is a little bit different with the bench. Uh, with the squat and deadlift you want a more of a neutral rib cage and pelvis. It's a bit different with the bench press. We want to have a chest up position and think of uh, pulling our chest to the bar. So I'm going to go through the setup with Clinton and we're going to go through the whole process and uh, what you want to feel and think on, and the cues you want to use when implementing the brace in the bench press. So now I've got my lovely assistant here, Clinton. Um, he's going to set his feet in his uh, normal setup position. He's going to lay down on the bench and set his grip. I'll move around this side. Now when Clinton uh, is ready to uh, get into the position in the bench press, he will retract his uh, shoulder blades, depress his shoulders, and now he's going to breathe into his solar plex here, and then he's just going to set tension into the bar and then take the bar off the rack. Now from here, he's going to hold that breath there, and then in competition, if he gets the start command or whenever he's ready to go, he's going to top up that, bra uh, that brace and pull that solar plex to the bar, and then pull, maintain pulling this up to the bar while descending the bar bar down, keeping that arch up, and then press back and maintaining that rack. So it's a little bit different when you're uh, executing singles. If you find that you lose, uh, you, you find that you flatten out in the, in the bench press for singles or in competition, that's okay. If you, there's a little bit of protraction, don't overthink it, it's okay. If you execute the lift and you get three white lights, then that's good enough. But when you're executing rep work, you want to maintain the arch and the chest up position. There's two ways of doing that. You can either hold your breath for the amount of reps you want to do, or you can take shallow breaths out. Uh, you want to think of like breathing behind the shield. So you want to keep this tension through here, through your brace, let a little bit of air out and then top up a little bit of air to refill that back up. Okay, so right now, Clinton's just going to do three reps of just holding his breath and maintaining this arch. So he's setting up, he's going to unrack, pull his chest to the bar, then he's going to top up his air, and he's going to come down and he's going to pause, maintain that arch up, then press, then pull the chest to the bar, press, chest to the bar, press, and then rack. Now, it's going to give him a little bit of a rest. And now, Clinton's going to execute it with the shallow breath out, and the shallow breath in. Again, you want to maintain the arch when you do that. You want to think of breathing behind the shield. So if someone's going to punch you in the gut, you're going to still have a brace there. You do not want to let all your air out between the reps because you'll completely flatten out 
and when you're under load it's impossible to reset it you may as well rack the bar and reset your tension your brace okay so Clinton okay slight breath in chest to the bar press exhales a li little bit reset chest to the bar Increases. yep and you see that it's tight and then rack okay now we're going to go through the wrong way to do it uh, it's uh, just letting all your air out between each rep what I'm going to do is just going to have my um, fist on Clinton's belly so you can see what it actually does and then we can go through again how you want to see it again where you want to maintain uh, uh, the brace and you'll see that reference on my fist okay so Clinton so it's nice and tight here it's going to come down and he's let all his air out. See that? I can just push him right down into the bench, okay? And then again. Now, rack. Reset and get into your position. Now, watch what happens. You can use this uh, when you're coaching uh, beginners as well. So, uh, push, against his fi uh, push against his fist and don't let the fist sink. Rack. Okay, that's how you do it. Two ways of uh, resetting your brace between the reps and how to brace in the bench press. If you like this content, please share it around with your friends. Uh, make sure you su subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next week.